Hi, I'm Evan Coots, reporter with the Great Lakes Beacon, here with your weekly news roundup. This week, Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Democratic legislators introduced the Reproductive Health Act, which would update Michigan's abortion laws and expand access to reproductive health care. After a years-long push to raise the age and end the treatment of 17-year-olds as adults in Michigan's criminal justice system, the reform has finally been signed into law. This week, lawmakers introduced two bills that would give undocumented immigrants the ability to get driver's license, which they have been unable to do since 2008. This reform is supported by Governor Gretchen Whitmer and a wide array of community stakeholders. After this past year's election, Michigan has moved up to number six in the country for women in elected office. Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel have pledged to appeal a Michigan judge's Thursday ruling that reinstates the deal Enbridge Energy made with Republicans during the 2018 lame duck session that would allow the construction of a tunnel around an operating Line 5. And lastly, Senate Minority Leader Jim Ananick showed support for Governor Gretchen Whitmer's overtime expansion in the Beacon's Tweet of the Week.